YouTube, welcome back to the channel, man. Rob49 just dropped Full God 2 last night. Uh, I listened to the album, so today we're gonna make a beat in the style of the album from scratch, so let's go straight to it. So before I get into the beat, first off, I want to thank y'all for all the love and support y'all showing to the channel. I believe in the last video, I was close to 9K and we're almost at 10K now. So I want to thank y'all for that. And also, since we're close to 10K, I decided to drop a mixing tutorial at 10K since y'all left a thousand comments uh, over the years. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to stay notified when I drop the video, man. Let's get right into the beat. All right, so Rob49 tends to use a lot of uh, fast paced beats. So for the BPM, I'm going to go with something a little over 160, uh, maybe 166 should be fine. And I'm going to start out with the piano. Uh, like I do most of the time. So open up Keyscape, get a random piano, just lay a melody down, and later on we can uh, switch a preset out. Right, so I'm working in C-sharp minor and I laid down some very basic chords. So I started with the basic uh, C-sharp minor chord, which is C-sharp, E, then G-sharp. But I moved the middle note, the E, moved it down to D-sharp. And I copied that over to the next two bars. Uh, next, I copied that over again to the next four bars. And I moved these uh, top two notes of the chords, moved it up half a note. Yeah, like I explained in almost all of my videos, if you want to add a lot of tension to your melodies, make it sound really dark, uh, really easily, you just basically put a note up half a note in the scale. So yeah, that's basically what I did on the second part of the melody uh, right there. Next, I add some low frequencies to the melody. I uh, put these notes underneath the chords. So the root notes, C sharp right here and right here. And these notes right here are basically the top notes of the chords just pitched down an octave. So what I'm gonna do next is open up another VST and uh, change the preset. Um, yeah, I could try to explain what I did, but um, y'all seen it, man. I basically copied the chords over from the Keyscape melody we started out with into Expand. I uh, went into Polysense and I got the 10th preset, the lead preset, and I ran the dead out. Uh, and I used this stretch tool, I believe. So instead of it being eight bars, I stretched it to four bars to give it some more pace. Next, I believe I cut it up a little bit and rearranged it. Then I duplicated it and made one melody unique, pitched it up an octave. Uh, y'all yeah, seen what I did, man. So next, I'm gonna uh, send it to a mixer track right here and I'm going to add some effects to it. As right, so for the effects, start out with the uh, parametric EQ, cutting some of the sub lows out, uh, lowering some of the low mids, some of the high mids, and lowering some of the highs. So it had a lot of high end to it. Then I opened up Finisher Micro. Uh, I believe it's free. I don't know what it does, but it makes it sound cool. And I added some Valhalla Finish Verb to add some room to it. Uh, use these settings right here then lastly after all the effects to clean it up a little bit i lowered some of the low mids and some of the high mids uh, with the parameter key cube and i think that melody is pretty much done so i'm gonna add a second melody to it All right, so for the second melody, I opened up Keyscape, got the LA Custom C7 Watch preset, and I turned off the reverb. Next, I laid down these notes right here, start out on the root note on C sharp, moved it up an octave, moved it down an octave to add some low frequencies and some higher frequencies to it. And I copied that straight over to the next four bars. Uh, and at the end, I switched it up a little bit to make it sound less repetitive. So I placed two A's right here, 
same note um and i kind of played around with the velocities a little bit and for the effects on that didn't go too crazy start out with the parametric eq kind of just up those out once again lowering some of the low mids uh and boosting some of the high mids and lastly to blend it in with the main melody we started out with i copied over the same for hollow vintage rare preset uh, and that's it for the piano I ain't gonna lie, that sounds crazy as f Uh, yeah. So in the album, I heard a few ethnic sounds being used in the melodies. So I went to Arcade and I wanted to um, add a little ethnic sound to it. So I went into this Passport Bank. I believe it's called Passport. Passport, yeah. Uh, I got the Turkish Delight uh, Bank. Turned all these knobs down and I moved the spread up a little bit because uh, it spaced it out a little bit. Ended up with this. So I'm gonna play the dry melody first without any effects and then what I ended up with. So as y'all heard, uh, I added a lot of effects to that melody. Effects I added are a parametric EQ, uh, basically cleaning up the signal a little bit before I put halftime on it. Yeah, this is the preset I used for halftime. Next to uh, pen it out from left to right, opened up Shaper Box, got this um, pan preset right here. The next, once again, to blend it in, uh, got the same volume of Vintage for a preset. So yeah, I only got three melodies, but it sounds full already. Uh, so I think I'm gonna add like one or two more sounds and then get into the drum. All right, so I added this Celeste to it from Expand. I use this preset a lot on uh, the basic Celeste preset in Mallets from Expand. So yeah, I basically laid some random notes down. This root note C, C sharp. Uh, then I went down to A, pitched it up an octave, same as I did right here. Next I added this G. So yeah, next I just copied that straight over uh, for the effects on the melody. Start out with the basic parametric EQ, cutting everything under 200 Hertz uh, with this uh, shelf right here. Next I added a chorus to it. It's the thing I like to do to Bells and Celeste and stuff like that. Uh, I think a chorus always works really well. So open up this chorus from Arturia. Then open up a Fruity Delay. Got the Ping Pong preset. Uh, so it kind of pans between left and right. Next to blend it in once again. Got the Fall of Finish Verb, same preset. But I turned the mix up a little bit and ended it out with another EQ to clean it up a little bit. Lowered some of the lower mids and the mids. And that's pretty much it. All right, lastly, we get the Growler Moog Bass. Uh, you should know by now, man. I'll be using this preset all the time. So yeah, I'm going to add some low frequencies to it and then get into the drums, man. All right, so the sample is done. I'll lay the sub bass down, y'all seen it. Got five melodies right here. So yeah, I'm gonna structure this out real quick and get into the drums. All right, so before we get into the drums, uh, all the drum sounds I'm gonna be using came from my Rook Season drum kit, uh, as well as my Heaven Sent drum kit. I'm working on it, it's not done yet. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay notified when I actually drop this kit. So yeah, let's put some drums under the sample, man.
so that's pretty much how I would make a beat in the style of Rob Fonan's new album, man. So I want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way throughout the end. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video, stuff like that. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram to stay notified when I drop my new drum kit or when I post other videos on other channels. Because I did a video on Producer Ground a few days back, so make sure to check that out. I'll link it in one of the corners. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for me today. I want to thank y'all for all the support, like always. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. That's it.